Welcome to episode 10 of Run It Down. If we're not running it down, then it's not G2. I'm here with Wonder and Jenkins. How you guys doing? Hello. Doing um, uh, pretty well. We just uh, got off scrims. Pretty oh. fun. Pretty fun last game. Uh, okay. We all uh, were very happy and not tilted at all. So. Uh, oh, so yeah. you, you ah, nice. So you tilted. You just come right after a tilt inducing <laughs> scrim. That's great. No, no, no. It was not that bad, actually. It was. It yeah, was it was, actually it was a decent day. I mean, considering yesterday someone cancelled on us, and today we already we at least got to play some games. So I think it was a fine day. Yeah. And there, there's like bad. there's like hidden powers that are keeping us away from improving, guys. It's Illuminati, actually. The LEC, like Illuminati. they're they're just coming all banding together, just not letting us practice or get like good practice. And they are trying to cheese us on stage so we don't get to playoffs. Yeah, they know on stage. if we get to playoffs, they cannot win the playoffs. That's true. So Fuck. they just want to keep us away from playoffs. Yeah, but how bad that when when I saw that lane swap, I was like, I was mental boom, and I was not in game. <laughs> I was mental boom. What is that? It was a throwback to the gold, good old days. Uh, yeah, honestly, they were it's, just it's, they were just too disgusting. good. Okay, like. It's disgusting. It's absolutely yeah, when, disgusting. I, when I saw them like level one, when I saw Seth running to my jungle, I actually um, like ra wrote a message to everyone and I asked in Polish like what the, what the hell are you guys doing? And then I saw three people <laughs> right after running into my jungle and I realized like, oh, <laughs> they're invading and my red buff is gone, you know, so, so my message didn't really come through. Yeah, because it was like really uh, smug, you know, yeah. like what the fuck are you guys doing? You're trolling. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was like, I, I was really like trying to be cocky there, you know, but uh, it didn't work out. But we won the game, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know, Hakuna Matata, am I right? Uh, <laughs> how, how, you know, when you hear this Hakuna Matata thing, do you, do, do you really feel it in your bones? Do you really feel inside of you, you know, actually Hakuna Matata, you know, that's the way we get back on track. Or do you feel more like, oh shit, I'm fucking scared actually. I think, uh, um, yeah. I think maybe Caps, like, is really feeling it. He's like a big, uh, he just watched all, like, the Disney the Disney, I don't know, movies. <laughs> so he's like really on track with the Hakuna Matata probably, but uh, for the rest of us, yeah, I'm not sure if it... Uh, I mean, of course, like, it's nice that we are not... I mean, we are still like really sweating, like we don't really want to miss playoffs. Like, it's, it's like absolutely no way that none of us would be like, none of us would be happy if we, if we miss playoffs. So, uh, yeah, we're for sure like still trying, but uh, I guess you guys, uh, I'm not as mad if we don't make it, so uh, that means something. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's true. Uh, it's not. It's not. Um, it's pretty exciting, you know, because normally the regular speed is not exciting at all. But since we lost so many games, it's yeah, it's getting it's like to the point where we really have to win every single one. So if we don't, we are just out of playoffs. So I think that the split could be less exciting. Like I think one win less exciting would be perfect. <laughs> like if we had one win more. Uh, that would be like the, the, the perfect mount, but since um, yeah, we have to win probably like three, four out of five games now. Um, I mean, of course we can do it, and of course we can still get the playoffs. But uh, I didn't, I don't remember the last time when we were so happy of winning a game in the regular season as we were when we won against Rogue. It was of course also because the game was like really, really hard. Uh, but it's also because you know it's so important to win every single game and like I remember when Caps jumping out of his chair and being like really really happy so really? nobody doesn't happen to <laughs> us. <so. laughs> yeah, <laughs> you should have like, seen. Really care. You should have seen actually. Um, uh, like the first three four weeks, I mean we didn't have cameras on us for reasons you know, but all the other teams that have cameras on them you know they're really really happy and like jumping up every time they win. But like every time we won, I was just like, if I could go like in, in third person view, you know, and just look at us, we would just be sitting there like after wins, just like, just looking, you know, <laughs> we would just be sitting there like if Riot would have filmed us, they would just be like, what the fuck? Like, is it like, pre is it like pre-recorded? We are just sitting there like just no, no celebration at all. But actually, yeah, like last time, uh, it almost like, of course, like really happy, right? Uh, Dude, I, I was yelling at my home and I, I never yelled at my home for a season game. For a regular season game, yeah, that's that's when you know you have become splice. <laughs> that's true, yeah. yeah. Kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, know, I think but, even like even like the finals, it was like kind of on par with like the after winning because of the finals we were three owing, you know, and it was like really we all knew that we were we won before we the nexus exploded, right? So like mm -hmm. I guess it was it was like even maybe even more extreme than like winning. The finals, you know, and like celebration, how we celebrated, right? But yeah. 
Well, it, it's it's a, it's a little weird that Spring Split. I mean, Spring Split was never super impactful, but now it's even less impactful than before. So you may as well just fucking delete Spring Split. Like, well, what I mean, is you this? say that, right? I mean, it's kind of true. But as long as we get to playoffs, even though we, let's say, place top four or top three, we can still get first seed in playoffs, which is, I mean, it's, of course, it's helpful. Uh, last time we had the first seed, we lost. But assuming we don't lose, uh, we always have side selection and we can lose one PO5, which is pretty luxury compared to team number five and six. So I do agree that it's like kind of irrelevant since you don't go to MSI uh, or we didn't go to MSI since, you know, it's Corona split and stuff or Corona year. But um, we are in a really fucking bad position right now. So if we make it to playoffs, at least it will boost us. And even if we make it as the sixth seed, we will be like probably at least top three. So we can still lose one BO5. So we still have like more time to even like choke a bit and then, then do good. So I think it's like a really good for us. Yeah. <laughs> so we are not in position to say that it's irrelevant, but I mean, it, it kind of is. Yeah. Okay, but it's almost, I mean, it's more irrelevant than before because before you still had Gauntlet at least, right? That's yeah, true. I, I, right? I think so too. I also think, uh, Summer split. Like I'm pretty sure if Matt Lyons makes first place, even if he makes second, I think I don't even think we are gonna have enough points. Like I think second, like summer split gets like so many more points. Obviously, Rogue I think lost in the first round last time. So if they make first, we can still like be ahead in points. But I, I think like second part, like summer summer split gets like so much more points compared to what it used to uh, than spring at Yeah, least. I just, honestly, like, my, my opinion is if you're gonna just diminish the impact of spring split over and over and over, you may as well just delete it. Just make it all a single split of 36 games, you know, instead. I mean, there, you... there was no MSI either, right? Which, like, really, I guess, that's, like, usually what spring split is there for. <laughs> like, usually yeah, when, I, when I think MSI, back to it... Yeah, when I think back to it, it's like you basically only play Spring Split to to make it to MSI, right? Well, yes, but even if you play MSI, it just works against you. Then you have no rest, and then you're just miserable. I don't know. I just feel like there's something really wrong with the scheduling, and there's something really wrong with the current structure, and it doesn't make any sense. But well, let, let's time see to how. step in, Carlos. Time to yeah. step in. Dude, I, I try, the best but team well, in Europe. change <laughs> well, the I rules, mean, we, man. <laughs> We we have a we have a, a socialist like uh, you know league where everybody has a vote and most teams suck so most teams that suck vote the same thing so the teams that don't suck which are two are always outnumbered so welcome I guess to <laughs> how the how the league works you know every time there is a vote that will hundred percent be bad for top teams it will pass you know that's the fucked up part. And, Makes sense, and, yeah. Yeah, so of course, you know, hey, teams, you have to vote here whether a spring split is going to be relevant or not. Hmm. Surprise. Most people voted yes. Well, yeah, because they were irrelevant in the spring split. What a fucking surprise. <laughs> right? So, yeah, this is me just openly complaining about the system. I hope uh, I hope some people, like, add the owners and, like, show them, like, this timestamp, and then you will have, like, really fun at the next uh, owners meeting. I mean, I'm, I'm very straightforward with everybody, so there's no news. Uh, it's, you know, we... I, I, I like them and they like me, but I voice my concerns with uh, enough energy. I make mm -hmm. it very clear. But anyway, uh, so have you been playing solo queue as of late? This is half a question out of curiosity and half a question out of... I'm just trying to find legal grounds, um, you know, to uh, not uh, reduce your salary. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so i guess we have been playing more solo queue than usual at least speaking from me and caps i do meet him like daily in solo queue mm -hmm. of course there are some um things we need to take care of like for example doing content for g2 esports so <laughs> always uh, play solo queue but you know whenever we have time to play solo queue we do play solo queue uh -huh, um uh -huh. and uh look i'm not gonna Luca, i'm not gonna interject I'm not gonna interject. Yeah, I think Luca and Miki and Wunder. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I guess Wunder can talk. Uh, I mean, I I've you been have playing. A raid after this. I do, yeah. But I've been playing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 7 I mean, p.m. by the way, so we don't have that much time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's not a joke. Actually. Oh, oh, it's going late. It's going. No, no, no. Uh, I think um, I've like I for sure been playing more solo queue than before. Uh, I got like 
I'm like 500, 400 LP or something. So, uh, you know, when I queue up, I can actually meet people that I know, you know, <laughs> I, can, I don't just meet like <laughs> random, I don't know, like academy players from all over the world. <laughs> uh, but I actually meet real people. Um, not that solo queue is like better than before because it's still like kind of trash and it feels bad to play. Honestly, I think yesterday I was like kind of burned out. I didn't even want, like, you know that feeling when before you even queue up, you just know that you're going to go into champ select and no matter like how champ select looks or what champ you pick, you just feel like dodging, like even before you queue up. <laughs> so like sometimes I just queue up and then I just dodge because I'm like, yeah, I don't even know why I queued in the first place. That's the feeling I had yesterday, but I've been I playing see. more solo queue generally. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, you know, I it, when 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 Worlds is there, or when MSI is there, or when important things are there, I always see you guys ramping up automatically, you know. Uh, but the problem is that you typically got there with enough wins to not have to worry, right? <laughs> you have to ramp up before playoffs now. Exactly. Uh, you have to ramp matata. up before that. Hakuna Matata. Then. <laughs> Hakuna <laughs> fucking <laughs> Matata. <laughs> Hakuna fucking Matata. And uh, yeah, but so typically you get in with more wins. Uh, and then you know you can just you know chill a little bit, and and the problems don't seem like problems, you know. Because you know what was like the tricky part is that right now I don't even think like looking at our schedule. I will actually like go on Louis post very fast. I think our schedule doesn't even look like that bad because we we don't play like insane teams, you know. We but like, like when you say quality, when you say SK, bad, Excel, yeah, we literally yeah, lose so, so, so we so, lose so, like, all those teams. Yeah, that's know? the point, right? Like like looking at we play Vitality. Uh, and then we play uh, like Excel, we play SK, we play, I don't know, like whoever, Next week like, is Fnatic, Fnatic Vitality so, next week. Huh? So I feel like no, last year or even last split, we would be like pretty confident in these matchups and we will say like, okay, we need five wins, but we still play against like the mid medium tier teams, right? So we will most likely win. But right now we are losing to fucking Schalke and, and losing against everyone actually. And we lost to SK, we lost to Excel. So I don't really know lost, what to expect. I love Gilius, but you lost against Gilius. <laughs> that is true, yeah. But to my God defense, Gilius. to my defense, like it was a hard game, yeah. It's fine. I'll, I'll not leak any strats because uh, at this point we cannot even leak strats. <laughs> if we leak, if we leak strats, then then it's even more doomed. So it's fine. Next week, next week we get them. We go 2-0 next week, and then um, and then we can chill for week eight. So we play against Vitality Fnatic, right? Yeah. 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 Well, Fnatic should be a free win because they have a mental block and they will never win against us. <laughs> yeah, that's something that's good to say, you know. Just be <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's uh, and that's the game right there. I just uh, jinxed it. Yeah, it's and then just... Vitality. I mean, I don't even know their players' names. That's they have a new charge. jungler and new support. They have Labrov, right? Labrov, and mm -hmm. they have skins, and they have Cabochard, and they have Milika, and they have. Um, I know, I know Cabochard, and yeah. and they have AD Care as well. <laughs> yeah, they have some AD. They have an AD Care as well. His yeah. <laughs> name is uh, Comp. I think. Oh, comp, yeah, yeah. Comp. So they do have an AD carry. That's good. I think he was actually like top, top something in solo queue. Top like. Wow. Top. Top one at some point. I never yeah, know when. That's great. No, that's an accomplishment. If I, if I was looking for an accomplishment out of a player, that would be it. Top that one. 50 in solo queue. <laughs> top 50 in solo queue. Great. Um, so, so how much did that win against Rogue mean? I mean, not only with, you know, the game was hard, right? I don't know how the hell you won the game, to be honest with you. I have no idea. Especially, like, looking at their comp, it was, like, so broken. Like, they had 200 years. They had Azir, Giga Fed. I had no idea. I have no idea what happened. It was actually uh, pretty simple. I just said that um, I will go mid now, and I will get caught. And then I said, Caps, you just have to hold your QE to steal the Nasher. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, so that was the game plan, you know? Like, we realized that we have to steal the Nasher to win, and we just did this, so. Good. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, the game was hard. Fight honestly, death. honestly, I think, I mean, for sure, like, the game was really lost, right? But they probably also, I mean, we've had these kind of games before where we were, like, so far ahead that we, were, we wouldn't talk about, like, because they had, like, a 5v5 comp, right? Like, they were for sure, like, really strong. And they were also really far ahead. So like in theory, there's like no way they should lose the game. But how they played fights, like they probably didn't talk about like how, because Kha'Zix was just like going at us here, killing him, you know, like I ulted their front line. They were not like playing together. So they just like, they were probably like really overconfident and then they just backfired, right? Because they didn't really like try to actually play the game against our comp, which was also like pretty good in team fights, right? So mm -hmm. that's probably just what happened, honestly. So so uh, how did that feel to to... 
beat Rogue considering the standings? Like I'm talking now in terms of like the standings, you know, and what it means for you guys. Honestly, um, I think it's irrelevant. Yeah. Whatever we won against Shark or Rogue is completely irrelevant. Yeah. I mean, no, getting a win is important. But who is it against from no, these I, two I, teams? Yeah, is it I agree. Around, yeah. I agree. But how did it mean to get a win at least? You know, after how because it was doomed. It was four in a row lost, and it was like looking pretty dire. I mean, we were expecting ourselves to win at least one game, right? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. Of course, we were very, very happy when we won the actual game against Rogue because we lost um, the game to Schalke the previous day, and also. The game was really doomed, right? So in the game, you could feel like a lot of pressure on the players and a lot of stress because, of course, we were losing. And if we lose that game, then I don't know how the fuck do we make playoffs. We have to win like five out of five, and and it's it's really rough, right? And we are on a six-game losing streak. So getting that one win in the bank feels really fucking good because we cannot really chill or relax, but it's not as stressful, you know. Yeah, you actually have I, to win four, right? Yo, I you guys are fucked. Least. That's awesome. This, <laughs> this, this, I, I think at least three. I think at least three. We have to win yeah, three, three out of five, I think. No, yeah, then we, we are. Then we three, have nine. And then you get unlucky with. The, no, no. Then we are nine, nine. I think we can even make it as eight and ten. Actually, maybe not. We have like so no, bad no, no, record no, 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 against no, no. every you, team. Yeah, exactly. You need. I. I think you need to win. I mean, if you win three, you can still get fucked by a zero two that you might have against somebody that you're tied with. Yeah, yeah, but then, okay, so we have to win against Vitality, we have to win, win against SK and Excel. If we win against these three, three teams, then we tie with all of them. So then even if we lose to Fnatic or we lose to whoever was the, like, the last team, then at least we still like kind of are tied and we can play like tiebreaker. But so, honestly, playing like a tiebreaker yeah. to make it into playoffs, like, that sounds really hype though. Like, that's like, pretty hype, yeah, that's pretty hype. You know what, you know what, guys? Let's just, just tie with everybody and then we have an insane tiebreaker, dude. That's more sponsor visibility. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You probably have to play like it. the next two days to like. I mean, I'm pretty side. sure like the whole fucking world. <laughs> have to play another split. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, one one of the questions that, um, or one of the things that they kept repeating on broadcast is, um, you don't make playoffs, you don't make worlds. You don't make playoffs, you don't make worlds. You don't make playoffs, you don't make worlds. You know, like. In your head, how does that feel in general? Like, you've been in Worlds ever since you're in G2. Uh, I, actually, you both have been in every world, right? That you've played? I mean, the, in, the, in every season. I, I, I missed um, three worlds out of. Uh, I missed six one. Six or seven. I missed okay, seven. Okay. Se- so, 2017, I didn't make it. But I was in 16. Well, and then. Uh, it's true, I forgot well. Jan because he's like 43. Yeah, he's really fucking old, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty old, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you did you guys play? You guys played against each other, right? Did I? Did we play against each other? Yeah, I don't know. I I I don't think I would remember anything specific about Carlos. So uh, I okay. Know. I mean, maybe it's like <laughs> some mix. Maybe like so some missed shockwaves or yeah, maybe that or maybe <laughs> uh, produ- getting bugged out like production. We need that cut. Uh, yeah, please uh, <laughs> timestamp this uh, footage and uh, ensure that it is uh, cut over. <laughs> Okay, why did we take us so long to pick K6? I, t- I asked that question because I'm a League of Legends expert, as my career um, speaks by itself. Um, grabs. I mean, so <laughs> I think that... Uh, grabs, I mean, let me... Every explain. draft is lost because of grabs, and... Good. Yeah, I don't really want to get into priorities much, but because, you know, none of the champions got changed for next week, but let's just say that uh, grabs is not always doing a good job at, at his job, so... <laughs> well, well, you know, I, I always, and when we had this dinner uh, together, I, I said as a joke, you know, let's just, you know, Hakuna Matata, let's first big league, you know. Um, what do you think your league games have been so terrible? Are you a bad <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> 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 uh, I know maybe because I have like a shit CEO and uh, I can't just focus <laughs> on my games because uh, uh, production like... uh, timestamp. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think all of them were like that bad actually, I'm kidding. but I do I'm, think the I'm two kidding. previous games were like not the best. So <laughs> I know I'm just unlucky as well. So I just grab the draft. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Every time I see you in solo queue with Lee, you actually you actually destroy. That's not nice. a joke, by the way. I don't watch your stream often because I hate it. But when I, but okay, no, 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 no,
Um, so, so Graf said that the week of scrims went really well, actually. Um, the previous week. Yeah, previous week. Um, uh, would you agree with that? It went better than the other weeks. I mean, we actually I mean, had that's we had okay, we had one cancel, so we had three days of practice, which is more than well the week prior to that, and pretty much every week. And the games were like pretty good, so I think uh, I, mean, I do think our practice was good. But then we went on stage and. <laughs> It's just like well, stage, stage. Well, maybe like you know, we you know what? Maybe you guys suck because there's no stage. Yeah, I mean it's true. There are, I know, uh, there are some behind the scenes, some uh, top teams currently not wanting to go back on stage for whatever reasons. Maybe they are afraid that stage. There stage you, you, you remember. Is, uh, you remember what I said before yeah, about yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, which teams won back? Honestly, it's really cringe. I, I just want to like put it out there like this is really cringe for like all the all these teams that don't. Okay, I will not, of course not name them, but all these teams that don't want to go back to stage because they are like scared of uh, losing playoffs or losing anything. Really, they are just it's really cringe, you know. Yeah, but you know what's the worst thing? They will actually mask it under. Yeah, yeah, you know, the player you know safety, what? you know, like it's yeah, when it, when in reality it's like a perfect environment because everybody's you know it's in the gaming house they don't have to shake hands it's like you know what I mean like it's like perfectly safe but you know what I I you know I understand I actually understand. No, like, so, I mean you can never I, you can I, never I argue with it. You can never argue with it because yeah. I would vote the same. Like you know if I would be in their position I would vote the same, um, or I would you know try to push for the same. So I I actually understand. It is what it is. So Caps mentioned that um, that uh, you were going to destroy the enemy's nexus. Will you actually try and do that uh, this upcoming week? Well, uh, we did it one time, I, I right? Quoted. So we are warming up, you know. We are getting. We are actually on our one game win streak, you know. So I would say with our <laughs> with our current true, with our current uh, track record, <laughs> we should probably be destroying some nexuses <laughs> in the next couple of games. You know, I mean, you never know. Okay, let, let, let's play some clips. Um. Uh, so let's talk about running it down. Why did we in so hard against Schalke? You all were literally running into them one versus three. Haha. <laughs> That's a clip. This or? is the name of the clip. Okay, okay. Now look at the screen. There you go. Okay, okay. This oh. like <laughs> I remember this. Okay, I don't know why I said ulting here. Um, I think Oriana was like pretty dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can hold you! I can hold you! <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, oh yeah, I mean, I didn't even flash because I thought I'm out, but apparently I was not out, so... And before that, Karma died. Mm -hmm. So I think that... Um, ah, that was what was happened. Really that was what tilted, you know, <laughs> so made it all happen, you know? <laughs> So I don't, I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to, I saw, I, well, Oriana kind of disrespected Azir, I guess, you know, it's Abedage Azir, you cannot really disrespect him, so he got insect and he died, and then Seth just kind of thought he's stronger than he was. Bro, everybody well. knows Abedage is then, Azir, yeah. is, uh, Abedage everybody. is the greatest player right now, I think. Dude, I think Abedage, uh, c careful with this kid, careful with this kid. Yeah, is, I mean, uh, you shouldn't be careful. You should, you should be talking to him, you know, actively. No, I careful. Oh, oh, the owner, owner of the team. The oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shal C careful. Yeah, 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 Shal yeah Shal careful, Shal exactly. Shal careful, 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 careful. Yeah. <clears throat> I have mm. a pool uh, meeting with him. Yeah. Actually, good. like talking about Schalke, you know, them winning every game right now, it's not even bad for us. So I just hope that they will. It's win pretty good. Time. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. I mean, now we are not I mean, playing against them anymore, so. It's yeah, we, we we got rid of the dark horse game already. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so l let's go next clip. Something something Mickey X ints. I'm assuming. Oh, there's so many clips now. I mean, there's it's only a, one. There's a lot of them. Okay, that's a missed uh, tongue. Game over. Oh yeah, I actually like this. You guys get the <laughs> the herald, and he just does the game over emote. <laughs> how cocky is that when you're literally how many fucking three three eight in the league or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Let's I let's mean, play it again, Sasha. I mean, he's uh, playing some catch, right? Which is like a very <laughs> mechanical, intensive champion. So I think. Look at him. You get the look at him. Game over. Eh. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean. Moments before disaster. That, that, at that point, the game was like still pretty good for us, you know. <laughs> it, it was. I, I even thought to myself, "Ha ha, ah, my team is so cocky. This is so great. We won." You know, in my head. <laughs> I was like, "Hakuna Matata, let's go." 
<laughs> actually, like, what were you thinking after we lost to Schalke and after we were getting absolutely demolished against Rogue? Hakuna Matata, man. Dude, oh, I, was think, I was thinking in my head, you know what? It's not too bad. <laughs> I, I, was th- I was thinking in my head, you know what? It's not too bad to just change the whole team, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're just searching up all the Schalke players. like. I was their, already uh, checking all the contracts. <laughs> okay, I see. Okay, I see. Okay, Abedage. Okay, that guy won. Okay, good. You know? Um. Anyway, what is the next one? I want to play this clip where Wonder shows us the optimal use of teleport. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> That's a stupid. <laughs> Oh, when I get off? Oh, that's right before the other clip, actually. Or, like, the mid lane clip. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, this is what starts the disaster. Yeah, I just knew I was dead here. Maybe if I would... Yeah, honestly. It was really close. Like, what can I say? Actually, actually, you know what? I would have done the same. Because, you know, greatness uh, meets greatness, right? And I would have done the same as you. Because I'm also a great player. Yeah. (laughs) Great (laughs) minds think alike. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know what? I don't even blame you for that. No, no. I don't blame that's you for all, it either. Uh, that's uh, that's all the highlights against Schalke. Um, great, great game, guys. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's go against Rogue. We have uh, Mickey X finally got to play a fan champ. Actually, yeah. How do you how do you rate his his Bard performance? It's pretty. It, um, it wasn't bad actually. It wasn't bad, right? I know Mickey is like known for his. He's insane. Bard, okay, insane. okay. I have to say one thing, right, about his Bard. <laughs> you know, you can. Um, you can like ult towers right before Herald hits and it stops it, right? But Miki, Miki, like I mean, he just mistimed it and the Herald like hit the tower and got the plates anyways after the ult expired. So like, I'm not really sure if he should be playing Bard again. But uh, after that, but I mean, it's up to right, him, right? So well, you know, back to Tam Kench duty, and I I think he also likes Brom. So yeah, you know, this is and Nautilus, because... Nautilus, and Nautilus. Well. Let's yeah. do that. What do you think they land swapped against you? Were they too scared of the bard, or was it your Mordekaiser wonder? Uh, for sure, the Mordekaiser. I think. Uh, I mean, you can how see... the fuck did you get so fat? It was actually yeah, insane. Uh, I mean, I didn't really get that fat, right? I just like really? every time, every fight, I just <laughs> ulted, ulted that tank, and I just killed him, I guess. And then that was basically my job, right? There I mean, okay. Fight. You did so much damage. It was like 16,000? 16, 16, no, it's six six thousand one fight. Oh, six thousand. Yeah. Probably I mean, six thousand in one fight would be like that. that was like one. No, that, 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 that would be me. That would be me playing League of Legends. Yeah, 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 I'm I no agree, longer playing. No, no, I think. Um, I mean, it's for sure the Mordekaiser, right? Like, let's be honest. I'm like one of win rate on that champ. If they gave it to me, of course they have to cheese. I mean, that's just how it is. There's no other explanation. Okay, you really needed that farm, uh, Jankos. You actually could have just lost the game for some CS. Imagine. <laughs> That's how it's called. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> what, what the fuck? For like we are, dude, dude, the whole G2 management now became Twitter analysts. Yeah, it's true, deal with this. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, I was explaining this on stream. Okay. You know that enemy now is actually gripping you, right? Because I have no jump, but my jump was up in half a second, right? So if I press ult like that, which I did, and he, he tries to flash on me, then I just jump over the wall and there's no way I die. But since I didn't have a jump, and he didn't know about it, by the way, this guy just fucking went in and he didn't know I have no jump. He's just doing it because I don't know, maybe they are like shitting their pants already that they will lose this game. I actually don't understand. And it worked out. So he made a good play, but I'm just saying that like, it should never work. No, this was a good play by you because uh Baited them to start an and we got it. It's so. true, it's true, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, it backfired. It's, it's because of karma, because, well, karma is not in game, but I mean, like, an actual karma. Yeah, actually, karma, yeah. Yeah, like, they, they, like, like they should not, they should not, um, they should not, first of all, they lane swap, which was, like, a big move, and second of all, what happened is that uh, I should never die there, so it was also a big move. Yeah, they kind of, just, like, disrespected you, spit in your face, and then yeah. karma just Yeah, and then you don't do that. Yeah. After like we are on a four game losing streak, yeah. <laughs> then I, would like, I would like to start a petition to uh, for you Jankos to 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 focus uh, and, in, and and don't commit those mistakes anymore. Thank you. A petition? I will, where I will, can I? Where can I sign? <laughs> 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 okay, play this one. This is the team fight that started everything. Oof. Walk me through the team. Wonder. Play by play, go. Okay, we are getting the tower here, the Asia tower. We see Sene really balanced, no one can see us. Cyan goes in, should have hit Cinder right there, but didn't. He gets Ooh, Mordekaiser Kassix. ulted while Kha'Zix just one shot the Asir. The set tries to flank, but he has no follow up because Mordekaiser like, just ulted the Cyan. 
there, there's no comeback. Okay, Aphelios is a little bit balanced right there, but after that, I think Aphelios is just left left on his own, half HP. He gets flashed on right now, and then he dies. Yeah. It's just GG. Dude. Yeah, at, the, at this point, we kind of knew that the game would most likely be won. How cocky are you? You were literally like 7k behind. <laughs> okay, okay, but like, imagine like we were 7k behind, but now it's like, it's yeah, actually. True, 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 true. A, a I think win, we get you know? both Drake and, and Nash at this point, no? We, we already had Nash, Drake. no? Wait, oh, we didn't we have Nash before this? I think we did. Like, we I stole it before this. Oh, we. No, yeah, no, you stole no, it before. You stole it before, oh. 100%. Yeah, oh. 100%. Um, but maybe so, it's up so, again, I don't know. Honestly. No, 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 I, you, I you stole know. it before. Um, But but actually, I, I gotta tell you, we are so hard to beat. It has to be so annoying to play against us, man. It has to be like seriously so annoying to play against us. Yeah, I don't know. Unless no, you are, probably unless like you're seven teams disagree. Yeah? <laughs> no, but it's like true. Seven like teams in the league disagree. Okay, them. every game we've lost is like because it's just like draft difference. Yeah. I, if it, I mean, I don't know enough if it's draft difference or not, but there's like you can clearly see there's a big difference in the game in the goal. There's a big difference in how powerful they are versus, versus how powerful we are. So it's like uncombackable. But even when it's like. You know, in a bad position, you guys always manage to stall the game. Um, mm. Enough. Mm. It's all, it's, it yeah. has to be really annoying, actually. We're very good to like drag out the losing, but in, yeah, the, end, in the end, we always lose. So. <laughs> and the coaching staff says the same thing about us. That yeah, they're very good they come in, they're like clapping, <laughs> they're like coming, in, clapping their hands. You know, wow, well done, guys. But but we lost. Yeah, but you dragged them out like twenty minutes. We <laughs> <laughs> exactly scary. what the draft wanted to do. Like. <laughs> okay, and then the gaming, the the, the game winning moment. He's gonna play some highlight reel, some Counter Strike highlight reel. <laughs> so nice balance, as we could see here. Oh, okay, so now yeah, you're winning. How is it feeling right now? We are like so hyped. It's like We're winning saying. worlds. Actually, Not I think it, this is on uh, G2's mic check as well, right? Or is it on the LEC mic check? Wait, is the G2 mic check it, out? It'll no, probably it, be on both. Okay, just watch the G2. It'll one. be on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no reason yeah. to watch it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it, like, before you G2. can hear right here, we are like calling out our targets, you know. Then we are like. <laughs> I'm probably saying I can't believe we won this, and then and everyone's like jumping. This is okay, crazy. I'm not exactly jumping, but everyone else is jumping. I'm like so fucking. I'm like fuck my life, man. They just lane swapped against me, and they cheese me so hard. <laughs> on. How did it take us so long to beat these shitters? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> how do you think about this uh, tweet? What is this tweet? Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, play the tweet. <laughs> oh, spicy tweet. <laughs> Sound competition. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it was like <laughs> one second after. I was sweating, okay? I'm not kidding, I was actually sweating. <laughs> <laughs> because some competition. Okay, some fun questions, okay? And we're, we're done very soon. And I know, Wonder, you you have a raid uh, right after this. What, what are you going to you know, raid? Uh, what, what, you know, raid what, Shadow what, what? Legends. <laughs> what are you going to raid? Uh, what, what instance? I'm going to raid, raid the pantry. No, actually, I'm gonna um, uh, Blackwing Lair. It's like a yeah, Blackwing Lair. Uh, yeah, you know that. You know that. Huh? Is it? Is that one the? <laughs> is that one? Uh no, that was actually that's actually like uh, just an inst like that's just like a ten man instance. I think it's not Blackwing Lair, but it's like same theme, you know. Which one was Blackwing Lair? It sounds like Blackwing Lair sounds like that one. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, yeah. Is it the one that's close to Molten Core? Yes. Are you playing? But yeah, it's Black Will. It's hundred percent Black Willner. No, it's UPRS. The one like Upper Black Rock Spire is the one with like the X. Where they like actually is it? No, no, it is. Yeah. Ah, it, it is, doesn't right? matter. Honestly, it's like the same. It's the same. It's just everything is the same. You know, it's classic. It's good old days. Dude, good 16, old days. Man. Sixteen year old content. Man, that I'm telling you, dude, that was like the the pinnacle of gaming. Yeah, I was not that old Rating actually, that but I did play it. I did play it back then. Rating that for the first time, man. Jankos, you were like back then, like thirty or something. Like back then, you. Were <laughs> 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 All right, question from Twitter at sneak catch. Sneak catch. Is the meta fun right now? If not, what would you change about it to make it fun? By the way, for, as a viewer, <laughs> because I know the fan is interested in my response first and foremost. As a viewer, it feels like shit. The meta feels like shit. But go ahead, professional players. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be more fun if we would play more assassins on side lanes and less team fights because clearly we are not really good in this meta. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like more fun, you know, if we had uh, different different champions, maybe. Um, I mean, probably 
I don't really mind as a jungle because you do still play a lot of assassins like yeah, Kha'Zix is meta right now, right? And before that it was like Lee Sin and um, I don't even know, like Elise Rek'Sai sometimes, you know, sometimes you play tanks, but it's not that, as extreme as it was like last year maybe. So it's not bad, but probably like for mid lane playing only, like the first split was only Azir Korki and now it's like only Orianna and Korki and Azir and so maybe TF, right? Of course. Um, probably it's less fun for like other roles yeah yeah i think like it's like the championship play i like fine there it's like it's had, it has been way like way worse but i think like the way you are supposed to like play the game is like uh worse than at least like other splits i think like drake soul and like just drakes in general like it's just always it just always matters unless like i mean you never get like fine off a hit where drakes don't matter or drake is never a win condition mm -hmm. So I just think like the way you're like meant to play the game is like a uh, way more one like one dimensional. It doesn't even matter like what yeah. draft you have almost. It's like pretty much always like the same kind of way you're winning the game, uh, no matter what. So I think that's like I mean that in that way the meta is like kinda boring uh, and mm -hmm. should probably be changed up, but yeah, I mean that's like my opinion is. Well we, we we are we have been always known, like not outside only, but you know, internally as well. Like you guys always embraced when things change because you can adapt faster than other teams, right? So is, is, is there a world, and this is just me asking, not the fan, but is there a world where when you guys uh, catch up um, in, you know, catch up to the meta with training and stuff like that, that you will start to understand the meta and where it's headed and you can start to um, come up with new things that other teams are, you know, not prepared for perhaps like you used to do? Because the only, the main reason you can't do it right now, I'm assuming, is because you just don't have enough scrims together and you just don't get the meta or how it got here. Well, I mean, it's a bit of both, right? I think just the meta doesn't really allow you to be as creative as normally because there is one okay, specific way of playing the game. So uh -huh. if you don't play for tracks, you just lose the game. So you have to kind of draft in a way that it still makes sense to like either maybe get a few first drakes and then like end the game before the dragon soul or maybe yeah snowball so hard they cannot get the drakes or just play for the drakes yourself um but right now we cannot really experiment that much and we prefer to play it safe since of course we are not in position yeah we're not really allowed to experiment <laughs> you know like we we are kind of we need to make it to playoffs first and then if we make it to playoffs and to worlds hopefully <clears throat> we can of course unleash ourselves again and we can just play whatever because we have so much time um but right now we just want to focus on getting to playoffs and doing it yep. in like a safe way that we can actually be there and then we can see um what the meta will al also head towards since from what i know patch 10.16 so the next one will actually bring a lot of nerfs and uh, changes to the champions that are being played so maybe we'll see new champions not necessarily the meta will change but we will see like a lot of new champions and maybe like delete some of the ones that we're playing right now so i'm kind of excited how riot takes the next patch i think also like to expand a little bit it's like um I think like the way to be most creative is when you have like a lot of time to prepare for like a single team and like right now we are just I mean we have we have to prepare for like the teams we're playing against because we really need the, the wins right but I think like in playoffs for example if you have like two weeks before you play the first team you can kind of like draft in a way or like play in a way where you know that they are not going to be as good mm -hmm. like for example if you play against weak bot lane you play like really hard bot lane and do like some some shit there you know maybe you like just make it a party bot, you know, or if they have weak top lane, maybe you do like some split push shit, you know, uh, mm -hmm. it could be anything, you know, but it like allows you to be more creative when you actually like prepare a long time for who you're playing against. Twitter as well, at CN Apple sign. How much can Wonder bench press? <clears throat> okay, so I was actually in the gym like a week ago, half, uh, one and a half week ago, and I haven't, okay, to clear, like, disclaimer, I haven't been in the gym pretty much since like Corona, even like a bit before because we were like afraid, like the not afraid of getting corona but like basically when they close right and ever since then i haven't really been going to the gym so i'm like really mm -hmm. like i'm really slacking right yeah but i could probably do I, like no i can see that you're definitely weaker now yeah i'm definitely like i'm getting <laughs> I'm fat i'm getting shit. fat you know and like i mean you can't see it on camera you know but in person like for sure but uh like nine like one one time just one time mm, yeah well, let's pr yeah oh like 95 100 and then i'll like break my fucking chest i think <laughs> okay okay and you will tore your fucking i'll tore shoulder. like i'll tear my fucking shoulder like my fucking yeah, great great stuff. Okay, so you per how much can you bench press i i mean right now again i've been out because of corona as well ah, okay <laughs> <laughs> okay okay I, i'm not like insane with chest like my max i ever did 
one uh, rep was 95 I think was the max I ever did and I was actually I think very strong but chest has never been my strong you know yeah, chest has always been like my strong thing so it's like me, it's, it's, it's always squats like my squats are actually mwah. yeah but my squats are sick not a fan even though I have very small legs like same, same um, same okay things. move on Instagram <laughs> at alishehab53 if you could play with any other with any player who could it be who would it be it's prime Carlos R, right prime Osler any player wait who would you pick Carlos I, I would pick myself uh, prime Carlos oh Osler, prime prime know? okay prime right. Carlos R, man. oof like just any player any player bro you can Abedage maybe yeah prime Abedage that's right <laughs> oh actually <laughs> 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 Prime, uh, last week, like last weekend's Abedage. Abed. Yeah, last week's Abedage, like <laughs> for sure. Jankos, who do you pick? I, I will take your pick. Um, uh, Wonder as, as I'll, I'll just, I'll just pick Faker. Abedage, I'm, okay, I'm two like, times Abedage, like, two times two, two Abedage picks. I can't oh, believe it. Oh, <laughs> overwhelming Abedage picks. No, that, that's that's no, okay. So Abedage, two times Abedage. Thanks for the question. Now two and a half, yeah. I'd say two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. Because you're like half. half an Abedage in your prime. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm half an Abedage. That's, that's, very that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> On Instagram, um, at Rafael Bello Silveira, how does it feel to lose against last place and win against first place? And then he puts this emote where he's like <laughs> crying from laughter. Oh, it's a hater. He's a fanatic emote, fan. Man. He is the emote. He, I don't think so. He's more than 12, I think. Ah, okay. Right. <laughs> he's older than 12. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we're allowed legally to put 12 year olds um, questions. How's it feel? Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't yeah. make a difference. We're very happy about the result. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's a very, just having one a very polite, so nice. <laughs> very polite answer. Okay. Reddit from Shadow Fingers with three S's at the end. Jankos, oh. can you still play listen now that you're 25? I want to ask, I want to tell you something. I asked my team if I could rephrase the question or the number to make it 45 but my team told me I can't rephrase questions from fans which I find it completely normal so uh, Jankos can you still play this now that you're 25? <coughs> Probably not as well as when I was 24 so hopefully uh, <laughs> we don't pick it anymore but if we do pick it then uh, I, will, I will unleash my boomer mechanics on the lift no, Bro, I, mean, I think I can you, still you look like, play you look 24 <coughs> That's that's true, man. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Add, uh, from Weibo, at Cobalt Blue Velvet, Jankos and Wonder, what do you think about the new champion Lilia? I think it's. So I played it and I went zero twelve. So I think it's garbage because you so know you mean first the pick champion next week? and another player. Yeah, we might first pick next week. Just like especially because zero two this week, then for sure we are first picking Lilia and having some fun next week. Also from Weibo, at nickname 404. Jankos, I wonder, which champion looks the most similar to you? Actually, you know uh, what, let's do it. Jankos, you choose Wonders, and Wonders, you choose uh, Jankos. Okay, can he start? You start, Wonder. Wait, what? I would have said I look like Gragas, but now like it's just gone. Uh, no, no, now you have to judge Jankos. Go ahead. I would say he looks What's like... What's the most annoying champion? Fifth and six. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, okay. no, no, it was uh, just a joke, you know? It was a joke. <laughs> joke, joke, joke. This is a prank, bro. Actually, I, like, I, I don't have a champion. I was about to say Trand, but I think I'll just say Malphite. What's the tallest champion? Like a Chad? Yeah, Malphite is pretty fucking tall, no? You're set. set no, but set but is I'm, buffed. I'm not the, like... You're Chad. Chad? I mean... I mean, I don't know. Malphite? I guess. I could okay, be Malphite. Malphite. Right. You would pick sets. We are pretty good, are pretty good ults. Yeah. <laughs> Fiddle 6 Malphite is pretty strong actually. Fiddle 6 Malphite combo. Alright, so just to finish this, thanks so much for being here with me. Do you have any words? Any famous last words before going 0-2 next week? Like uh, if you were speaking to the fans right now, why um, are you telling them? To give them false still, hope? It's still two weeks before the playoffs begin but of course we are very sorry for not making playoffs <laughs> okay okay hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, production 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 you need to add actual epic music here okay epic okay. music right now jankos take it away 
Okay, um, so we are very very sorry for not making playoffs and the fact that we disappointed you this year. Uh, we will of course have a really nice vacation for the next five months and we will come back stronger in 2021. I'm like jamming to the music and I can't even hear it. But it's so fucking deep. epic. Uh, I have nothing else no, to say. No wonder, like. go ahead. Go okay. What are your last words before you, we go 0-2? But you have to give false hope, come on. If we are 5,000 gold down, just tune out of the stream like it's we are fucking lost <laughs> <laughs> but we will come back next year even stronger even stronger famous last words from the team that blew up uh, thanks to uh, not being able to qualify for playoffs in the LSC G2 Esports this was running down episode whatever the fuck it is thanks everybody Ten. for watching 10? Thank you very much. Thanks everybody for watching. It was an unpleasant time to spend time with Wonder and Jankos, but it's my job. They, you know, I pay myself to do this. I also get paid. <laughs> we also, we have responsibilities that we don't like, and sharing time with each other is one of those. Have a beautiful day, guys. Um, enjoy your raid. Thank and you. Jankos, uh, train. Uh, train. Train listen. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll go ahead and stream <laughs> right now, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Eh?